Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I'll try and slow that down a bit because it does sound pretty shit when I say it really fast. I know what I'm saying, but it just doesn't come out right. I'm going to be using Light Grandpa Cedar Shaving Soap. I've just used it for my head shave and it's so slick. It's excellent quality soap. The scent on this one, however, is pretty much non-existent. It should be called unscented soap in my opinion. I know that the owner of Light Grandpa wants to make his soaps lighter scented so as not to affect sensitive skin so I understand the thought process behind it but with the lime at least I can smell the lime with this one it smells like soap like a, just a soap base almost like an olive oil that's the sort of scent I get from it now if cedar wood smells like or cedar smells like olive oil then the scent's probably pretty spot on so I'm going to start off the shave with like grandpa pre-shave oil cedar scent which Smells like olive oil. It literally smells like olive oil that you would put in your food. I'm not sure if that's what he was going for, but that's, what, that's the scent that I get from it. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on my hand. And then... It is as you can see, very hydrophobic, being an oil, of course. Now, I just want to give a shout out to, I know I go on about it pretty much every shave at the moment, I use it every shave practically apart from this one, Sean Mullen over at Moyo Grooming. Now, I shaved my head three days ago and got a lot of irritation on the back, quite a bit of blood, raised bumps, soreness, redness, you name it, it was there. Anything you can get from shaving other than big cuts and nicks and things like that. I had it and it was pretty bad. Now, as soon as I put the oil grooming on, I got the initial burn from the alcohol, then the cooling sensation from the menthol, and then I just sort of left it. Now, it's only been two or three days, I think, since my head shave previous, and my skin was feeling great today. Like, the best it's felt after having such a sort of rough head shave. It was a good head shave, it was just a bit rough. Now. It's just testament to how good quality that product is and what it actually does for your skin. If you get irritation, if you get any sort of anything, anything going on, any redness, over shaving, anything, it's going to help. I can assure you it will help. It has done wonders for my skin. It has taken away pretty much all of my stretch marks that I've got in my neck, which were very prevalent. If you go back probably two months ago and watch some shaves from then, you'll see that I've got really red lines. Now, you can still see them a little bit, but I've been changing my razor settings over the last few days but if you go back a few months you'll see the difference in my neck and as far as I'm concerned it's down to Moyle Grooming and the product that he makes it has made such a difference to my skin so I just wanted to put that out there so you're making an awesome product mate and I'm not trying to push the product to the point of oh, it looks the best everyone needs it if you have issues with your skin or you want your skin to heal up quicker you want better feeling skin grab it in my opinion it's, there's nothing that I've used and I've used a lot of post shave products that is better than it at the moment that I've used personally. Everyone will have their own opinion on that, but that's just my sort of view on it. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to enter this water because it's I've got a coating of oil on it. Now the thing I don't like about this oil, and the more I think on it, is putting my brush on it with natural hair. I don't think oils are the best in my opinion for natural hair brushes, but let's see how we go. Oh. Right, so the brush for today is the Carve Shaving, again, 20mm Super Badger, really really nice little brush, I say a little brush, it's quite a long brush, very comfortable, it's got a great weight to it, it makes a lovely lather, I can't complain with the lather at all. I'll flick out most of the water, and then straight onto the soap. Now, I was going to leave the soap in the brush for my head shave, but I'm basically cleaning this brush out every time I use it, stropping it, I suppose, stropping it on a towel in order to try and assist the sort of minor breaking in process that you can do with a badger brush. I understand you can't break a badger brush in like you can a bore brush. Well, not at least when the fibres are so fine like they are in this brush. As 
can see, the brush is loading up lovely. Now I may have to revisit the soap for the end of this shave, I don't know. We'll soon see. I am trying to load the brush as heavy as I can. So there we go, the brush is loaded. I'll wet the face. And then we'll apply the lather from the tub on my face this time, instead of the other way about. Now just to give you an invit invitation, excuse me, indication of how good the soap is, I could shave with that comfortably. I, I can tell you that right now, it's slick. I even feel like I've got a layer of protection there. You can see how, how that doesn't come off with a bit of water. Well, why would you do that when you can attach this to your face? All I'm doing is my usual painting the water in until the lather goes translucent. And I think that's about as good as I need it. And then we can spray the brush. And start building the lather, which I keep flicking on my shoulder. For you United fans out there, you probably know Manchester United take on Tottenham tonight in the UK at 7pm. Obviously over here for me it's 2am. Absolutely nailed the slather today. Look at that. Sometimes you just get it right, whether it's natural hair or synthetic. That's a really thick, creamy lather, it's dense. Tastes like shit. <laughs> it's not tasty lather. Okay, the carb razor. Now I have got a Derby Extra in here, third use. I've never used a Derby Beyond 2. I don't think I've ever used a Derby Beyond 1. And I have got the A-plate. So hopefully you can just see, just down in this corner here, there should be a little A. And let's see how it feels.
So once again for me, the Derby Blade feels incredible. I think it was Rick Reynolds that said that the carve has the ability to turn what would normally be an average blade into something really, really good. Well, for a first pass, that was lovely, but it's still too mild. The A. The double A and the A plates are just far too mild for me. I need a little bit more aggression. So, so far for face shapes, the C plate is still the plate of choice for me. Obviously the next one that I'm going to be using will be the D, and then the one after that will be the B, and then I'll return to the C plate and just see what the C plate feels like. It's absolutely spot on. Now, I won't be using my grooming today. Like I said, I'll be using the Light Grandpa post shape valve. Really, just to give it a run out, see what it feels like. I have to be honest and say that. I know you guys can't see, but I've got probably between 20 and 40 different post-shaped balms and splashes and things like that. But in all honesty, my old grooming will replace pretty much all of that. And that stuff will just slowly make its way out of the den. Well, I'm certainly getting a beautiful shave from this plate, so I did say it was probably too mild for me. Now I'm not so sure. <laughs> it's really smooth and I've got really close under my chin with no effort whatsoever. With the double A plate I wasn't getting close under there. So I've got really close with the A plate, so I'm looking forward to the B. I have heard that the B is excellent. I think the B could be the one for me. As you can see, the ladder is absolutely superb. Three passes so far, comfortably there's enough in there for another pass, maybe even two in that brush.
that like grandpa shaving soap is extremely slick it's voluminous it's easy to load it's easy to lather it is high high quality shaving soap and very minimalistic approach to ingredients there is not a lot of ingredients in this soap but that is absolutely superb the residual slickness the, the interest slickness when you're shaving the addition of the pre-shave oil seems to assist for some reason I'm not a big fan of oils but it seems to help and you're getting shaves like this So I've got a couple of little weepers here and there, but nothing, nothing to write home about. I'm just going to feel my head before I start talking about the fish. Right, now I put a little bit of that balm on, not much, and it hasn't really left any residue, which I'm surprised about. I thought the balm would have left some residue, but it hasn't. So, let's wash this brush out while that's drying in. Rinse the soap off. Have a bit of a chip chat. Talk some shit. And then I'm off to work. I'll be two days off after this one. I'm picking my mother and father-in-law up tomorrow with a the wife. They fly back in from the UK tomorrow. We've got back in from Dubai via the UK. They've been over there for 10 weeks, I think it's been that. So they've had an absolute ball. Back to civilization now, back to work and all that jazz. It is definitely assisting, giving this a good thumping after a shave. Well, it's super, <laughs> super hydrated. Like, wow. As you can see, my neck, there's a little bit of redness on there because I've just shaved it, but it looks, compared to what I did three months ago, far superior. It feels far superior. I don't feel like I'm getting any irritation down here anymore, like I used to. Got a couple of little spots and stuff like that here and there, but nothing major. So now that that's dried in, I'm going to pop on a little bit of this Light Grandpa tea tree oil. And it smells exactly like tea tree. Now, you don't need a lot of this stuff, by all accounts. I think you need more than that. It's all about a really, really fine coating of balm because it is quite thick. It's full of oils. So you want to make sure that you're not clogging your pores up. So a really, really fine layer. I can smell it. It smells lovely. So I can't crumble at the smell of the post balm. 
cow of it. The scent on the silk and the oil. It's not, just doesn't do anything for me, unfortunately. It's, there is no scent to speak of. And, and I'm a person that generally will buy things based on scent. Now this is very kindly sent over by Chris Kirch and an off calf razor company. So calf shaving, sorry. So he's picked the scents. I'm assuming this might have been the only scents that they had at the time. They might have been sold out of the others. But had I seen that on a website or anything like that, I wouldn't have been anywhere near it. I'm not a big fan of wood scents. I can't stand sandalwood. This one, for me, is a almost unscented but smells a bit like olive oil scent. So that's all I get from it. It's not a bad thing because the performance of the soap is absolutely top draw. It really is. The whole package from like, like Grandpa is top draw. The packaging looks good, it's clean, it's minimalistic. There's not many ingredients in them. There's nothing certainly in it that's super dangerous. There's nothing dangerous in it for your skin. I'm not a fan of grapeseed oil. There is grapeseed oil in the pre-shave oil. Not a fan of grapeseed. But other than that, the rest of the products are top quality products with great ingredients and they work absolutely as they should and as good as anything else out there in my opinion. One of the slickest soaps I've used. Residual slickness is like William's Mug Soap, but it's like William's Mug Soap that you can actually lather. Go for it then. 20ml Super Badger performed absolutely spot on today. Beautiful handle. We've got the Carb Canada coin on the bottom there. And it's just a stunning little brush. I'm really enjoying using it. It's not a lather eater. You're not going to go through a lot of soaps using it. So it's not a brush that I'll use forever. I want to try and be through some of my soaps. But the hairs on here are starting to split. I can see them splitting right on the tips of some of the sort of thicker hairs. So hopefully over the next maybe a week or so of use, I'm going to use this exclusively for quite a while and break this bad boy in. And obviously if I can't get it broken in enough, I may have it re-knotted. I don't know. But beautiful brush so far. The carb. Come on, focus. Christopher Bradley razor. Got here on there. All brass, and it, this one has got the Argyle handle, which does have a different knurling on there. It's got beautiful grip. It has been bead blasted, which gives it a sort of matte satin, but still sh slightly shiny effect. And it's just precision milk. It's a, just a phenomenal tool, an amazing instrument of precision, really. I absolutely love it. This one, I'm starting to use the longer handle. I'm actually enjoying it. I still think I prefer the shorter handle, I'm not sure, but I am getting used to this now. I'm starting to get used to the weight and the length and the angles. I then moved on to Light Grandpa Tea Tree Aftershave Balm. And, phew, yeah, absolutely top draw. It is top draw. If I was to shave you all this stuff, if I shaved your face and put a blindfold on, shaved you with all this stuff, finished off with that balm, you would feel your skin and think you'd just been tackled by a holy call, barrister and man, Ariana and Evans, Moyle grooming, it, it's up there with everything. That feels stunning. Absolutely stunning. So hats off to like grandpa because Grandpa was shaving like this, I'm surprised they changed back to who went to cartridge. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really, really impressed. So if you can get your hands on Light Grandpa, head on over to lightgrandpa.com, I think it is. You can have a little look on the, on the website over there. He's out of a few scents that he doesn't have. He's got a couple of scents there that are a, bit, a little bit stronger in scent. The lime one smells lovely, it's just not very strong. This one performs superbly but smells like olive oil and doesn't really smell of anything else to my nose but other than that phenomenal performing products stay safe drive safe don't drink and drive and i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers